Hello, so for lunch I am just eating some leftover spaghetti squash um, that we had left over from last night. Um, but today in the mail I got this book, which the guy who preached on Sunday at our church um, mentioned a story in here and I wanted to order it for a little bean. So I did and I was just like looking through it and I wanted to share just like the beginning parts of it. Um, so this will be like, basically it's the Bible, but like in kid version, I guess, um, but all the stories of the Bible, but this is kind of like the intro. And so I thought like, since it's Christmas, um, we're Christians, if you didn't know that already now. Um, and so, um, yeah, Christmas to us is all about Jesus coming. And so the intro kind of like mentions that. And so I just wanted to read it. So here we go. God wrote, I love you. He wrote it in the sky and on the earth and under the sea. He wrote his message everywhere because God created everything in his world to reflect him like a mirror. To show us what he is like, to help us know him, to make our hearts sing. Whew, I'm out of breath. Pregnancy. The way a kitten chases her tail, the way red poppies grow wild. The way a dolphin swims, and God put it into words too, and wrote it in a book called the Bible. Now, some people think the Bible is a book of rules telling you what you should and shouldn't do. The Bible certainly does have some rules in it. They show you how life works best. But the Bible isn't mainly about you and what you should be doing. It's about God and what he has done. Other people think the Bible is a book of heroes showing you people you should copy. The Bible does have some heroes in it, but as you'll soon find out, most of the people in the Bible aren't heroes at all. They make some big mistakes, sometimes on purpose. They get afraid and run away. At times, they are downright mean. No, the Bible isn't a book of rules or a book of heroes. The Bible is, most of all, a story. It's an adventure story about a young hero who comes from far away to win back his lost treasure. It's a love story about a brave prince who loves, who leaves his palace, his throne, everything to rescue the one he loves. It's the most wonderful of the fairy tales that has come true in real life. You see, the best thing about this story is it's true. There are lots of stories in the Bible stories in the Bible, but all the stories are telling one big story. The story of how God loves his children and comes to rescue them. It takes the whole Bible to tell this story. And at the center of the story, there is a baby, which you could maybe guess, Jesus. Every story in the Bible whispers his name. He is like the missing piece in a puzzle, the piece that makes all the other pieces fit together. And suddenly you can see a beautiful picture. And this is no ordinary baby. This is the child upon whom everything would depend. This is the child who would one day, but wait, our story starts where all good stories start right at the very beginning. So you have to read on to figure out, but yeah, so cute.